Hello, my name is Gareth Thomas and in this short video I'm going to show you two really cool tricks. The first one is quite short and that's why I'm doing two cool tricks in this video and it's about entering text in a cell. So you can have up to 32,000 odd characters per cell which is quite a lot and what most people do is they enter the text. So I'll just enter some text Quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog's back and then they press enter and you can see that the text has run over or, or merges over or crosses over not merges but crosses over into columns B, C, D and E um, and now you can wrap the text so if I click the wrap text key you can see it stays in the one cell but also what is quite useful is if for example you wanted to put in um, lots of different lines or split the paragraphs up of a longish sentence so you could do something like this and this is what, what I'm going to show you now is the, the cool trick type in the quick brown fox and then press and hold the alt key to the left of your key uh, your space bar on your keyboard and type uh, hit the enter key and it jumps down a line you can give yourself an extra space and then you can start typing in more text. Jumps over the Alt, press the Alt key, hit Enter twice. Lazy dogs back. I should do that really. The back of the dog. And hit the hit and press and hold the Alt key and hit Enter or return twice and enter your last piece of text. So you can see that you've split up the text within a cell quite nicely and that means that you can do the same in another cell. So first off you have to align everything to the top so let's just align everything there and then it's easier to visualize. So if I type in 1, Alt, Enter twice 2, Alt, Enter twice, 3, Alt and Enter twice again, 4, Enter. And you can see that they're aligned, 1, the quick brown fox, 2, etc, etc. And that's a really quick and easy way to make text within a cell uh, and with a number, a range of cells actually look uh, quite good, rather than have it run on and rather than do this, which is what a lot of people do when they're trying to do something similar they will enter text in the cell the quick brown fox space and then they'll hit the space key until it gets to the very end and then it wraps around and then jumps over the lazy and then they'll hit the now you can see here that this there's a big space between the text and it still runs on but if they press wrap text it looks like mine but it's not as user friendly shall we say in fact if we highlight that section and hit the delete key you can see that it will just go to the uh, next part of the earlier text uh, with no spaces. So that was the first trick. Now the second trick. This is really good if you have um, similar amendments or um, things you want to change on different tabs or worksheets within your workbook. So you can see at the bottom I've got north, south, east and west. Four tabs, four worksheets. And if you look at uh, this first one on the north you can see I've got first name, last name, street, city, postcode, gender, telephone number and I've got some um, dummy da data there. In the next sheet I've got the same thing again and again some dummy data and again I've got some headers in east and west but no data there. So if I wanted to for example and you can you need to think about this carefully but what you can do so let's say I wanted to highlight 
all of col all the all the D's, all, all of the column D's across each of these spreadsheets, each of these worksheets, sorry. Okay. What you need to do is if you hit your first the tab of your first um, worksheet, then hold press and hold the control key and click with your mouse the south, the east and the west or the names of the worksheets at the bottom. And then if you highlight the column or do whatever you want to do and let's color that in yellow I've highlighted for this sheet north column D is now yellow but if I just take and you'll also notice as well just very important in the brackets there's a word group so this is um, a change an amendment or a font change or something some kind of um, amendment or update that you're making to the whole group of worksheets. And now if I press cell text just to release the tabs and now go on to the south tab you can see column D is highlighted. Go on to east column D is highlighted. Go on to west column D is highlighted. Now this is really good and useful if you are trying to make the very same type of change across all of your worksheets and you could have more than four worksheets there may be 20 or 30 but you can highlight all of the worksheets provided they are the same in terms of the data and that's that's the reason why I've got here north south east and west so we've got um, data which pertains to the north the south the east and the west and I want it uh, to be the same kind of formatting across all of those worksheets so I'll do that again you highlight the you click on the tab press your control key click on all of the other tabs and then let's change column F to another let's highlight it with red and now if I go to south I've got red east I've got red west I've got red do you see how useful that could be in certain circumstances I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much.